Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to apply an existing bootstrap template to your ASP.NET MVC6 sites. Um, if you've taken a look at MVC6 pages, they're beautiful, um, but they all look the same. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how to use an existing boot, uh, bootstrap template from Start Bootstrap to make your page look a little distinct. So I'm going to use this template, my favorite, the um, Business Casual template from Start Bootstrap. Uh, what it is, I downloaded it and I extracted it. Um, and I have a variety of files here. I'm going to take the information that's here and build these four pages in Visual Studio. All right, so I have a basic plain vanilla page. Looks like this. It's going to look a lot different when I'm done. Okay, so first thing I need to do is I need to start moving some stuff around. I'm going to move these three folders, or rather copy them, into www root. And I'll replace anything that's there. So I get an assets folder which has a bunch of my pictures. And I get some new CSS. And I guess some JavaScript. Now I don't mind overwriting the site CSS because the stuff from Start Bootstrap is a bootstrap template, so it works. Alright, so now I'm gonna modify my layouts because I want to get the uh, the information in there that the bootstrap has. So I'm gonna go to my share my layouts. And I'm gonna start by modifying what's up here. So if I look at the file here, if I open up their index, Visual Studio Code. I need this stuff up here for business casuals. So I'm going to copy the scripts for Font Awesome, the fonts, the fonts, and the style. I'll put it up here. So that's our bootstrap specific stuff. And now to make sure it works, I'm going to put the tilde in front of it here. Don't forget that, or sometimes it works, sometimes it won't work. It's that sometimes it won't work. That's really frustrating. <laughs> really frustrating. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to just nuke the nav bar that's here. Nothing wrong with it, but I want it to look like the new one. So I'm nuke the nav bar that's in the header. And again, I'm going back to here. I'm going to steal their nav bar. Format Control E D formats that in case you don't know. I'm also going to get rid of this main. It caused me some problems before, so I'm going to get rid of that main. Um, optionally, you can delete this footer and replace it with theirs. It's your call. So I need to mess with these because no longer can use hrefs. I have to use ASP areas. I have to use controllers and actions. So I'm going to do ASP dash controller equals home. I'm going to set that to all four of them with a silly coloring. Make sure I change the action. About products. Store. It's acting like I'm missing something the first line. We'll find out when we run it, won't we? Formats. Format doesn't fix either. Alright. So let's skip moving now. Let's, now let's fix index 
the CSHTML. We're going to open it up, we're going to nuke pretty much everything. And then we have index open over here. And I need the header. Don't need the nav, I need the sections. And again, footer's optional. Control E D, make it look good. All right, so for all of our images, you have to update to Toda Slash. If you don't, it won't work. Okay, so let's see what this does. Save and run. Let's see if index works right. Okay, so index page looks good. It looks like business casual. Um, about products in store don't work, right? Because they're not built. Let's build them. Okay. I'm creating a view in home. I'm going to call it about. I'm going to force my layout page. I've been having trouble with that working right, so I'm just once bitten, twice shy. I'm going to end up setting the title. I'm going to copy sections and things into here. I'm going to fix the images. And I'm going to add an entry. And I'm going to keep doing that. Um, about's fine for me. I'm going to get rid of the H1 that's here. I'm going to open up that next page, which is about. Here's the code. So I'll take the header in the sections. I'll take my header, put it there. Make sure my bounce. Get my section. Paste. Control E D. Make it pretty. Save. I'll repeat for products in store. Um, any images on here? There's an image here. So to slash. I think that's it for about just one image. Um, let's see if I fix it right. Hmm. Ah, I forgot to add the controller. Rookie mistake. Again, remember the name of your controller has to match the name of your page. So home looks good. About looks good. Okay. I'm going to do products and I'll do store and then I'll test those two of them at once. So right click, new view, call it products, I'm going to copy the sections over, so while that's chuggy chuggy, I'll open it up, I should just open this whole folder. So I'm going to need this header. And I need a section. There's three of them, I believe. Yeah, there's three sections. Control E D formats. 
and then I have to fix a bunch of images. I think there's three in here. So to slash. So to slash. If you don't, they won't work consistently. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they won't work. And again, it's that inconsistency that makes programmers want to drink. And now I do store. Oh, and add the controller. So I'll forget again. Products. Was products. Okay. And while I'm here, I'll do store. Okay, so let's create store. Add new view. Raise view, call it store. Let it chug as it's chugging, I'll open. The reason I'm opening a different browser than Visual Studio is I get really confused when I'm making edits on two pages in the same editors. So I find it much easier, much easier to use two editors. Sometimes I use good old notepad because that really stands out, that ancient looking white page. Uh, but here I figure we can handle Visual Studio Code. How many sections? Just two sections. Copy, paste, control S, control E, D to formats, and find the images. To a slash. To a slash. Looks like they're already oh my, I mean they're on the page. Somewhere with the store. There are only two one image? Oh, let's find out. Run it. This multi page template I chose is fantastic for ASP because quite often you have, you know, pages like this that's just, you know, eye candy and happy text, and then you'll go to products, so it will be a database lookup. All right, we work. Everything works. Okay, so what this is showing you is that you don't have to stick with the plain, boring, boring vanilla ASP sites. You can use tools like Start Bootstrap and get their themes. You know, some of these are one-page themes, some of them are two-page themes, some cost money. I wouldn't suggest spending money unless you have to. The one-page themes can be more difficult to work with, especially if you're dealing with database pulls and API calls, but they can work. Um, I don't make any money from Start Bootstrap. I just use it. Um, they don't make any money from me because I use their free sites, um, but I do recommend learning how to make your ASP sites look yours so that whenever you're showing this to a potential employer or your teacher, it's not like ho-hum, yet another white and black page. All right. Thank you very much for watching and good luck.